Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. Happy Virgo season. If you are new, welcome. Please smash that like button and do subscribe. If you enjoy this reading, keep in mind this is a general love reading. We're going to take a look at this person or someone's current feelings about you. Um, this is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. All right, Virgos, let's get into this and happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Okay, let's get started, Virgo. Anything you need, any links to um, book a personal reading, every and anything, there's a link under my profile picture here on my channel and also in the description box. Okay, you have healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, being happier, you've got sunglasses. Okay, somebody's watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing outward, but with glasses kind of just behind the scenes, looking at you, um, making healthy choices. Wow, you've kissed that again. Looking at you, making healthy choices in your life, um, loving yourself, and being happier and with cassette this is outdated thinking hmm, someone's um replaying events in their head in regards to you and um thinking differently about you virgo seeing something different in you thinking differently about you and about events that ha occurred in perhaps the past so um, as always, keep in mind, this can be romantic, but it can also be um, friends, family, other people you know. Okay, so somebody is in decision mode at this time. Let's take a look and see what's going on here. Okay, hmm, nine of cups. Someone's definitely got you on your mind about something that's ended, but um, they're thinking about how special you are to them okay how much you are a wish come true um how much somebody needs to compromise <clears throat> excuse me we do have the hermit which represents virgo and death which represent excuse me represents scorpio <clears throat> a little bit under the weather today you guys so if i'm like <clears throat> hacking up here <laughs> please forgive me i'll try to mute it um let's see what else is going on and uh, somebody's definitely in decision mode right now okay thinking about um transforming themselves or transforming this relationship also reflecting on how much has changed or how much is changing currently let me see okay so I feel like if somebody thinks that you are very courageous and you are a very giving, charitable, wonderful person, how you've got the Midas touch, everything you touch turns to gold, um, how you have the courage and strength to make changes in your life, really thinking highly about you, okay? And also <clears throat> how you are able to transition from one thing to the no to the next. I don't know if you're like a chameleon or something. Um, so we have Leo energy here, and the Wheel of Fortune can represent Taurus, Aquarius. I'm picking up here. Okay, so I feel like this person. Let me see. Okay, yeah, um, they're heartbroken. And I feel like, okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I feel like this person wants to talk to you. So there's definitely going to be some kind of conversation, seeking clarity and um, peace after some kind of a heartbreak or, uh, you know, whether that was you with them or them with somebody else. I get a sense that this person really, they they bring, they like the, how you bring peace of mind to them, like how you kind of find a way to soothe things or make things better okay that's interesting now this person learns a lot from you virgo so things that you have communicated to them your truths and the clarity that you bring to them this person feels like they learn from you or they learn a lot from you <clears throat> Almost as if they're, they're kind of an apprentice and you are like a trainer. 
Okay, maybe somebody is an apprentice or maybe somebody is a trainer. But I feel like... Um, I do feel like this person wants to communicate with you, though. Okay, let me see. And tell you that. Also, tell you. Like, there's almost like this gratitude. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, I feel like th this person looks at you or they, they see that you are home. I'm just hearing you represent home to them. You represent family. You represent stability, foundation. It's the 1111. And even here, we've got one, two, three, four. Some some kind of um, heartbreak situation or argument of some sort has brought peace of mind. And I think it's because it's brought truth. Okay. This is definitely a soulmate kind of a connection that they feel <clears throat> towards you. Okay. Let me just get a clar clarifying card for her. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me, the hermit. <clears throat> it's definitely Virgo energy. I feel like this person has you on your has you on their mind, where um, they look and see that you're single. You're if you are, they you are living your your finest life, your best life. You're stable, um, looking good. Okay. Hmm. Um, this person feels like they get what they deserve. Okay. Um, they see some kind of truth. <clears throat> they see a truth about you right now. <clears throat> they see that you are fair and just. Okay, but what are their emotional, like what are their feelings, feelings? Because I, even with the Three of Swords, I kind of feel like this person is a little bit distraught by something. Okay. All right, picking up Leo Virgo cusp here. They know that you, you know how to get where you need to go and what you want. And that you're easy to, you, you, that, like you freed your, you free yourself very easily. Um, or that you have a lot of faith and you're willing to just take a chance and take leaps of faith despite your struggle or any kind of like a mental struggle. And they feel like you're a very intuitive person as well. Wow, Virgo. Like you have secrets or things that you um, keep to yourself that you don't share really unless it's with like select few and I feel like they like that about you okay so we have fire energy here like all the signs are showing up here pretty much um, I feel like you they feel like you bring down tower like you cause tower moments in a sense like you don't purposely go out to destroy but they feel like you're very courageous and you have the ability to bounce back you're very resilient wow look at all everyone virgo this kind of feels like there's a lot of people that feel this way about you air sign there's this feels like it's more than just one person this feels like it's a lot of people who have um like very similar views about you like they a lot of people really admire you virgo or everyone in your periphery or in your life to whatever extent people are in your life um you know even with the nine of cups i feel like people yeah, I was kind of feeling like this was going to start as one particular person. We have Libra here. This feels more like it's a, it's a group of people, a lot of people, lovers, friends, family. Um, see you as like a wish maker. Um, they'd like to be in your presence. They'd like to be around you. Um, like majority of the time, it's it's positive. They view you as like being a very positive person. A lot of people see that you, um, I know you might be asking about one person, but I'm seeing, I'm seeing groups of people. A lot of people see that you have um, hit rock bottom or that you have 
suffered great betrayal and losses, yet you have this like warrior spirit about you that you just kind of like get back up, you go back into your corner of the ring, and then you kind of re-strategize how you're going to go back in for the fight. You don't quit. You don't give up. You may lose battles, but you don't lose the war, your intent. No matter how much um, suffering or, sh or um, struggling, you're very good with your boundaries and that you um, will take a step back if needed to kind of do a reset, but you never just give up 100%. You have like this spirit within you, this fighting kind of spirit, but it's not like, like um, it's more like this endurance, you know, that's kind of your fighting spirit. It's the endurance that you have. It's the old, it's not how many hits you can take, it's how many hits you can take and get back up. And you always seem, these people, or maybe someone in spe specifically, see that you have this ability to get right back up after a failure or a fall. You're good at recreating and rebuilding. You're very strong. These people see you as very strong. See how all of the car, all of the signs are showing up, Virgo? So now you have water energy here. So this feels like a lot of people really admiring you, and, and especially going into Virgo season. I mean, it's it's all about you from August 23rd to the end of September 22nd, 21st, 22nd, 23rd. I feel like a, a, you have a lot of admirers and suitors, or at least people who... Okay, Nine of Swords... The devil and the empress. Yeah, it's like no matter what, Virgo, people see that no matter what you struggle with, what anxieties you have, what toxic ish you've dealt with, you still make healthy choices and you're still able to start over. You know what? I feel like you're tremendously admired for the way you're able to um, rebuild, the way you're able to stay in this empress energy where you're like, okay, that didn't defeat me. <laughs> um, it maybe got me down, but I'm still going to come up shining, smelling like a rose. So, I mean, you're on a lot of people's minds and will be on a lot of people's minds going forward, okay? And, you know, no matter what, the people you've dealt with in your past, like nobody holds any grudges or issues with you. Um, it's actually, I feel like uh, these people or anyone in particular, if you have someone on your mind, um, they look to you. They look to you to lead. You're like a blessing. Okay, that's wonderful, Virgo. Oh, I'm just hearing that Adam Ant song, Wonderful. Do you remember that song? Okay. Wow. So you definitely have a new love situation starting your family. Feels very blessed to have you in their life, whether that's your actual family or your soul tribe. And you've got, oh my gosh. So you do have a new love offer, a new love, not offer beginning happening here is when I, I want to say Taurus as well. Let's take a look here and see what's going on here. Um, Someone that may have uh, cheated you or lied to you in the past. I feel like um, this person wants to heal this relationship. Yeah. Or someone that might have um, deceived you or left you out in the cold. Or there was abandonment. Or someone that, you know, kind of... Um, I just feel like they want to... This person wants to heal this relationship get back into your good graces okay for, <laughs> yeah they've been thinking about their um it feels a little bit like yesterday's reading but i feel like they've been thinking about their side of the street the things that they've done wrong i feel like okay yeah there's definitely communication coming in from someone here there's going to be good news i feel like someone here um wants to tell you that they love you and that they have like this thing for you now this could be someone who did you wrong in the past but this could also be someone who has been thinking about just how they have spent their life um struggling and because you are such an inspiration and a blessing to this person 
uh, they, they, yeah, my gosh, you've got the Knight of Cups. So there's, there's a love offer coming in. And, and also there's some kind of proposal, um, and some type of like, um, gift. It could even be during your birthday month, you know, your birthday in, 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 in your birthday season, um, there's travel. There's definitely a connection. Someone wants to connect with you. The 1111, the 1111. Okay. This person feels like you are a match for them. You're just super, super admired. You might be very spiritual. And this person looks to you for your um, spiritual wisdom. But there's so much love here. My goodness. Okay, Virgo. So I feel like it's not only that you're admired by many, but you're also admired by someone in particular and and or others so the love offers coming in could be from a lot of different suitors <laughs> and or and one of one of i don't you know i don't have the six of cups so i don't want to go too deep into this being a past person it could be okay um but that's kind of lower on the percentage so i feel like there is of a group of people, there's several people who um, either ask you out or want to spend time with you or make a proposal, um, give their love. You've got to go slow, take the time to get to know each other. Okay, that's your advice, Virgo, with this person or these different people. Okay, you can be completely open. All right, they're saying with this person. So there is someone in particular, and I feel like it's whomever you have on your mind at this time wants to open up to you um they tr feel they can trust you that they can talk to you they're willing to take things slow and see how things go some kind of beautiful birthday gift spiritual lessons person in your life it's in your life to teach you so this so they feel yeah they know that you um are more than just you're, you're more, you're, you're, you're like a spiritual lesson for this person. I feel like whoever they are, wh or whoever's on your mind, um, this person, like I said, from the beginning has learned quite a, a big, a huge deal from you on a spiritual level. Um, you know, what do they say? Like tarot card readings are cheaper than therapy. Um, so this person, um, the things that you have learned through tarot, I'm hearing for, through watching or um, practicing has turned you into a much more spiritual person, much more understanding of yourself, someone who is healing and um, your healing brings healing to others. And I feel like this person has felt the effects or feels the effects of your, uh, your energy, your positive, beautiful energy. So, you know, Virgo, this is just like such a super nice message for you. Especially, you're going into your birthday here. So you may receive birthday gift um, or some, some messages of some sort from not just one, but quite a few people. Let me see what other messages. Okay. For some of you, there is a fire sign who is super significant during the month, the end of August, into... Um, September and I feel like this person is definitely going to be reaching out or communicating with you no contact in the reverse okay so there's an opening up of communication happening here with a fire sign okay and the past does return so some of you might have a connection with this person already mature dynamic fiery uh masculine or feminine so yeah you're definitely if you were not in contact with someone for quite some time uh, yeah there, there's going to be some type of communication with this person okay a new chapter yeah there's a new chapter starting here and it feels like with a fire sign okay there's a new beginning that's the world Lessons have been learned. Contracts, soul contracts finished out. There's completion, completing a goal, um, and starting over. Okay, there's a starting over energy here. Okay, someone who was ghosted or blocked. 
Yeah, I feel like this might have been someone that you had some, maybe some issues with. Um, there's no more ghosting and the, and the blockages are being removed. So I'm not exactly sure who that's going to be for you, Virgo, but there's definitely an opening up. Okay, fear and anxiety are suppressed. This is good. This is good. And there's peace. Peace of mind. Okay, that's good, Virgo. I like that for you. All right, let's take a look and see. Um, you Chinese signs. Let's see who's showing up here. Okay. Year of the goat. Year of the rabbit. Year of the pig. Year of the tiger. Year of the rooster. Tiger again. Pig again. Goat again. <laughs> Goodness. The dragon. The ox. And one more. The rat. Okay, very beautiful. So that's either your Chinese sign or the other person. So take it as it resonates. Okay, let's get some cards. I mean, some, uh, I'm going to try this dice thing again. <laughs> See how this works out. Okay, so we've got... The letter J, okay, somebody's name starts with a J. Um, we have August 31st, September 17th, 1973. Someone is 55. Um, the month of March is significant and someone is 52. All right, let's see. When will you be hearing from a particular person? <clears throat> Hold on, Virgo. Can't find my my um. For some of you, you will hear from someone on the 23rd of August and also September 16th. Okay, very significant. Let me see if we can get some more initials for you, Virgo, and see who else is showing up here. Okay, we have the letter T. We have the letter I initials. We have a U and the letter E and... A and the letter C and then it just switched to a B. Okay. Wow, Virgo. Let's see your signs. Who else? What signs are showing up here? Okay. Scorpio, Taurus, Libra, and Cancer. And one more. Pisces. Virgo. Again, Cancer and Libra. I feel like it just wants to keep giving the same messages there. All right, Virgo, let's see what your charms are. Okay. All right, Virgo. So, you've got a gingerbread man. <laughs> Here comes a muffin man. So, um, significant time period is when we have gingerbread cookies. That's all I have to say. Maybe somebody makes gingerbread cookies. You know, I saw a dragonfly yesterday. It was the first one I saw all summer. First or the second. Um, and you also have an angel. So gingerbread, so there's something happening around the holidays, Christmas holidays. There's definitely with this butterfly, a new start happening here for you. Uh, a transformation, a change. Um, kind of a coming out of the, out of a cocoon and it's just going to be significant like I believe I can fly <laughs> that kind of energy and even with the stork there is like a new beginning as well like the like a birth somebody might be having a baby or finding out about being pregnant as well and that could be anytime now between 
the holiday season coming up, like Christmas and, you know, Hanukkah and all that, all the holiday season. Um, now, maybe you are just seeing butterflies a lot lately. If that's the case, this is definitely a message for you. You could be seeing flamingos, storks. Well, I don't know. I've never seen a stork, I don't think. Are, are they even like real? <laughs> Is this real life? And um, yeah, there's something here very significant about a pink flamingo. I don't know if that's a drink or if that's a place or a thing, but that's very significant. Also, um, hmm, angel bringing a baby. I'm picking that up very strongly. And there's just something about this little gingerbread. Unless if, if you're someone that makes cookies around the holidays and you sell them, uh, significant time. For you to do that, I feel like you're going to do very well. If you're starting, I'm just hearing like a cookie business, something creative like crumble, something super creative um, with food. That's going to take off. Okay. So very, I know this was short and sweet, but I'm going to leave this here for you. And uh, I hope that you guys have a fantastic, wonderful evening, morning, afternoon, and going forward, I know a lot of you have birthdays coming up, so shout out to everyone. I'll always say a happy birthday for every day that we do these readings until the end of September. And again, if you want to donate to the Children's Fund, definitely go do that. Um, any amount helps. I greatly appreciate that. There's two of them. And again, you can find them at the link, at my link tree. And uh, personal readings for September will be discounted. You can buy me a cup of coffee if you like. And thank you to everyone who's bought me like all these coffees. I'm super, super excited about that. I love you guys so much. That's just a great donation. And I, you know me, I just love my coffee. And yeah, don't forget to join my OnlyFans for the spicier readings um, where I use the cards and the decks that I can't use here on YouTube. All right, you guys have a fantastic day and night. Make good choices. Healthier choices, love yourselves, love each other, and I'll see you all back here tomorrow. Take care.